Oh, hello there, it's I Gravestone, and today I'm going to be making another commentary video, and this time, it's one of those videos that I really wanted to make, but I just didn't really do it. But today, I'm going to be making this awesome video. Now, if you may have seen the thumbnail of this video, yes, I'm going to try to uh, talk about this very quickly. Now, I don't, I don't want to make this into a long video, so let's get into it. Now, uh, this is very tricky, because I, I've been thinking about this battle for a quite a while now and I just never really did it but I am today we've got um Sporkis from Lazy Town versus the Aquabat suit the Aquabat from the Aquabat Super Shows. So anyways I don't wanna waste I don't wanna waste any more time so let's get into it. So anyways uh so wow I haven't seen the show in years. So somewhere in uh in Lazy Town there's a superhero called Sporkis. Now I haven't seen the show in many years but man, did, did I really enjoy the show? I mean, this guy is amazing. So anyway, Sam, Sporticus, what do I know about this guy? Well, he's very athletic. He's superhumanly impressively strong. And he's very, very athletic. Like, this guy is just amazing. Now, when I was watching this show, I didn't realize how powerful this guy was. I mean, this guy is so fast that he can actually move under the speed of sound, which is... Uh, insane which i really didn't actually notice um he was actually able to move under the speed of sound which really surprises me because i know i watched the show but he's that powerful and also he's also he he also lifted a pyramid up which really surprises me because i know i watched that show but sporticus is not only that fast enough to move under the speed of sound but he's also strong enough to hit a home run and hit a home run at the moon which is insane and he's also strong enough to lift the damn pyramid up which really blows my mind and also he casually like jumps off his air balloon which is like literally right up in, in the, into the sky and he sometimes jumps off it and he just survives it which is insane like how the I, like I know I watched the show a long time ago but I didn't realize Sporticus was this powerful. Anyway, so thank you to Animation Rewind for um, giving me this information. I love this guy. He's been, uh, I've been watching this guy for like a very, very long time. And thank you for this video, uh, Animation Rewind. You are awesome. So yeah, um, so with this striking strength, he was actually able to hit a home run across the moon, which is insane, mostly because uh, the moon is actually I mean, it's not that far, but it's very... It's just there. And it got me thinking, this guy is actually able to... Like, since he's able to do that, he's actually... He could actually be able to destroy a whole city if he actually wanted to do something like that. But as uh, clever and smart and uh, powerful that he really is, he actually has one weaknesses, and that is sugar. Which is actually, he's kryptonite, which actually weakens him. So if he gets like chocolate or whatever, or anything sweet, he's actually going to get um, weakened. And he's, uh, yeah, that's literally his only weakness. So. But, uh, as, but other than that, he's actually very, very skilled, athletic, and he's very quite powerful and he's awesome. Now, I haven't seen the show in many, many years, but he is amazing. Now, yes, Spartacus does have like, a few ups and downs here and there like for instance he's always been outsmarted by um, Robbie Rodden which he's basically like uh, the master of disguises and he well uh, let's be honest Spartacus always gets fooled by him but other than that Spartacus is a very very highly intelligent superhero I mean he's actually that smart like um, he he knows basic uh, what do you call that? Health? And, um... This is other thing I, I can't really think about. But yes, yeah, Spartacus is a very, very smart, clever person. And he's very powerful. But, other than that... Uh, how will he fare against the Aquabats? So, um... Let's get to it. The Aquabats. Now, I haven't seen the show in a very, very long time. But, I still remember the show. Wow, it's been a long time since I've seen the show. Anyways, the Aquabats. Now, for those who don't know, the Aquabats are five superheroes who basically travel around the world and they fight against 
monsters and other supervillains, which is actually pretty damn cool. And also, um, each five of them have special powers and abilities. Except for the MC Bat Commander, because he's actually just a normal human. But he's actually somewhat kind of superhuman-ish. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah. So like I said, five of these guys actually have superpowers. I mean, four of these guys at least. Now, this is kind of a tricky one. Mostly because um, one, uh, one of these guys actually have a lot of powers and abilities. Now I'm talking about um, Crash McLarson, Ricky Fitness, Eagle Bones Falcon Hawk, and Jimmy the Robot. Now, uh, the Aquabots are very, very awesome superheroes. They are rock band uh, heroes who travel around the world, um, well, doing rock band stuff, while also saving the world from dangerous threats. Now, uh, they do fight tons of monsters, and these guys are really great superheroes. Sometimes even very silly superheroes, to be honest. Now, um, since there's five of them, I'm gonna discuss each one of them with their powers and abilities. Now, starting with Eagle Bones, he actually has a secret power called the Dude when he summons here. It's like an invisible eagle that can actually, um, that is actually invisible and somewhat is very magical. I don't know how powerful she is, but it's it it was given by him, uh, by the sun, god or whatever. I I don't really understand that bit, but he probably is. And um, he also has somewhat tunnel vision, I'm guessing, which allows him to see like from very very far distances, able able to see uh, in the night, and he also sees fairies, which is weird. Uh, I don't know if that means he can actually see magical powers and abilities, but uh, I shall take that. And he also has his trusty electric guitar, which actually shoots lasers, which is actually pretty damn sick and very, very cool. He's very, very skilled with it. You can also use the guitar as a weapon, too, so he's a very dangerous foe. Also, he... also uh, the... you've got Jimmy the Robot, which is... Which is obviously the smartest one out of the group, and probably the most dangerous one. Well, next to Crash, but we'll talk about him later. Now, Jimmy the Robot is a very, very smart, intelligent robot. Who is actually able to, well, hack into a lot of stuff. He's got some serious hacking abilities, and he's got some pretty hefty weapons on him too. Like lasers, uh, uh, I can't really think, but he has tons of them. But he doesn't really use that that much because I don't I don't know if he wants to like do explosive stuff. But he does actually have lasers, so this is actually pretty cool. And he's somewhat the most uh, toughest one out of the entire group since well, he is a robot. I mean, both of these I mean, all of these guys can take explosions and all that stuff. But um, Jimmy is definitely the most toughest one, mostly because he is a robot after all. And uh, then you got Ricky Fitness, who is the speedster out of the group. Now, I it is unclear to me to how fast he is, but he is very fast. I mean, being able to catch up with uh, the Battle Trap, which is actually able to fly into outer space, which is insane. And he's actually able to catch up to that thing. So he should be somewhat uh, almost fast as, uh, fast as light or sound. I mean, being able to travel up in space and just like that, and Ricky's able to like catch up to that, which is actually uh, pretty insane. He's also able to run on water too, and uh, able to hit pretty fast. But he, uh, but as fast as he is, he's not very strong. But uh, other than that, they all can take explosions and a, a good beating. So yeah. Then you got Crash McLarson, which is probably the most dangerous person on the entire group. The reason why I say this is because when he gets angry, he turns into this giant. And he's actually able to destroy like cities, mountains, um, uh, even able to fight up against giant monsters who are capable of destroying planets and all that stuff. So he's actually very powerful, but he's also limited with his anger and rage and sadness. So 
if he comes down he's gonna like de transform and go back to regular size but other than that um when he's not a giant he's actually just the strongest member out of the whole, whole group with um without his uh, transformation when he turns giant on his base form he's actually strong enough to like lift up boulders and toss them around just like that so yeah he's not um so yeah in his base form he's superhumanly strong but when he's gigantic he's well i mean come on, he's that almighty strong now we've got the mc bat commander he's not powerful like the others but he is very smart and clever but sometimes silly and goofy since he does get them into a lot of trouble and uh, other than that he's the only one without the superpowers but he actually has great leadership which actually uh, is a good thing which actually he comes up with many plans and he sometimes succeeds in doing so sometimes he just goes in without a plan but when he does think ahead he's actually able to come up with a few ideas to help the Aquabats win the battles so yeah unlike the others he doesn't actually have powers but he actually has great leadership and he's very smart and clever from time to time but other than that he's uh he's just like the others he can take a good beating he can survive explosions and he also survived getting shot by electricity so and and lasers so that's uh actually incredible also he's actually fast enough to dodge lasers and lightning so that's that's some pretty good speed feat for a normal human being now the aquabats they fight tons of evil monsters dimensional beings and even mutants now when it comes to this fight who is going to win out of this out of this fight now for me if you're gonna ask me i see it as a 50 50 because sporacus alone would beat all the aquabats in a one-on-one -on -one fight but in a group fight i believe the aquabats might have the edge also because uh, they uh there's more of them when they're all combined together they are almost unbeatable so if you separate them sporticus might be able to beat them one by one but as a group the aquapats is going to win this fight so yeah also yeah i forgot um the aquapats also do have weapons and gadgets and i'm only talking about the battle trap but i'm also talking about jimmy to the robot and what's his name eagle bones now honestly if, if these characters ever met i feel like these two these characters here would be best friends like honestly i feel like sporticus and the fc bat commander and the aquabats would be awesome friends but if you were going to ask me i see this as a 50 50 you know because sporticus by himself can kick the aquabats ass but the aquabats can also kick um sporticus ass because uh they have way more battle experience they fought many many dangerous threats and monsters and um other than that they just work better as a team okay on a one-on-one -on -one fight sporticus is winning but it's a group fight then uh what you call it Dems the aquabats are winning the fight so that's who i got winning so who would win into this fight well like i said one-on-one -on -one, sporticus is winning the other hand the aquabats is winning so i'm gonna go with i mean i love both characters they are amazing but other than that i'll, I'll give it to the aquabats because this they have fought many dangerous threats and foes and they are well experienced in battle and uh, when it comes to uh the aquabats the mc bat commander has um great leadership and might come up with a plan to defeat sporticus but other than that i feel like these characters would become best friends because these guys are both silly and very fun so yeah that's what i got winning this fight the aquabats so tell me uh, who you think would win actually in this fight do you think sporticus would win this one or the aquabats anyways thank you for watching i know it was a short video but I just wanted to make this video because it's just so fun and I love both of these characters and I love these shows. So anyways, I thank you for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.